Hello. I'm bringing along um, origami as our way of encouraging you to take some time out to relax and have a little bit of fun. It's so needed. So I'm bringing along, I think, a really lovely fold. It's a traditional one to make a little stocking. And it can even be, uh, it can even be used too. So it's actually got a little, a little space in there. Maybe it could become a, hold your pens. Maybe it could hold little treats, put, put in a little present. Uh, this one I've made from plain paper and then I've decorated, which I think works really well. Or you, if you've got things like wrapping paper, you could use that. You can hang it up so it could make nice little decorations. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. So first of all, if you grab yourself some paper and I will show you how to fold. And if you fancy it, you can also have a go at colouring it afterwards. So I'm grabbing something to press on, grabbing some paper. And I'll direct the camera down. Here goes. So first of all, we're going to make a square. So if you take a corner and line it up. So I'm thinking about this time of year. So it's quite a dark time of year. So it's really nice to make little decorations. And bring yourself that little bit of cheer. You can also make nice presents for others. I've been making little boxes of origami gifts to send to friends and family and show them how much I'm thinking about them. I'm next going to get rid of the rectangle and you saw how I lined it up nice and carefully so most of all just go nice and slowly that way it makes it really relaxing so we're going to line up to just to make a square I think it looks like a Robin Hood's hat at this point uh, lining up uh, and when you're happy it's in place give it a good strong fold because that's what gives it the strength also means we can easily just do a little tiny nick and then you can, on a solid surface, you can then tear this off like so. There we go. So open your square. We're going to fold it in half to make a rectangle to give it a nice midway point. There we go. That's it. Now open it up. If you've got origami paper already, all you need to do is just fold it in half as a rectangle. Next, we're going to give it the top, the little rim of the sock, of the stocking. So if you get one end and just turn it over. So if you've got, um, if you had origami or wrapping paper, you probably got the white side, the side, because that's actually all you'll see of the underneath. Um, there we go. So that's the rim of your stocking. So our next step is to turn it over and we're going to bring the outside to the middle line and you'll see the top of the stocking will start to be revealed. There we go. And I've been doing lots of folds at this time. Uh, I think this is a generous time of year. Um, so we encourage giving and celebration and festivity and I know it's hard because we're not together in the same way but this is quite a nice way of bringing something maybe special giving yourself that chance to do something a little bit different so you've got the top of the stocking there our next step is to start shaping the bottom of your stocking so if you take the side and fold it to the middle way line it just so happens that Tiger will help me out there this time and the beauty with the video is you can stop it, you can pause, you could go slowly, you can change even the speed. I try and go fairly slowly. This corner and again, folding it to that midway line, like so. Now at the moment, the bottom of your sock would be very pointy. We don't generally have pointy socks, so I'm going to take the very bottom point and fold it to this point. So it's just softening it really. like so there we go great so at the moment it would be a straight stocking and it wouldn't have much of a foot so we're gonna to have to change that so we're gonna first of all take it as it is I'm gonna fold it in half so bringing it up so it reaches that top line 
clips down there and we folded it up. Again, keep everything in the middle. I really like this fold, it's so cute. And you can put little things inside it. Make anybody smile. There we go. So our next step is really intriguing. You'll see later on how this works. It's a real piece of engineering. There will hopefully be a lovely amazed moment at some point. So this, what we're going to do is we're going to add a tuck to this area. So we're going to bring this up and we're going to match it so that this line matches here. Can you see? So I'm bringing it up so it matches there at the back. So it's all lined up. I know it looks like we're shortening it. So it was down there and I brought this up so that this lines up with that. That's it. Great. We're doing wonderful. So next, our, again, our sock is a little bit wide. So we're going to fold it in half. So as it's facing you, folding it in half. And this is the really fun moment where I've seen people go, oh, <laughs> and it, it never fails to get me as well. So it doesn't look like a stocking, does it? It's going to in just a second. So take this bottom bit and pull it. Ta-da! The stocking appears. So you pull it all the way down that it will go and you'll find it kind of pivots around that point. It's, as I said, it's a beautiful piece of engineering. So hopefully it looks like that. Now at the moment it's a little bit open here. That doesn't look great. But this little top of the stocking is a lovely little rim that goes all the way around and it means you can tuck one side into the other. So can you see this little rim? It doesn't matter which side you decide to go for. But you should be able to curve one underneath the other. Can you see? I'm going to curve this underneath there. Now you could at this point also tuck in a little thread. So you could use a piece of wool or string. Oh, sorry, I need to see what I'm doing there. There we go. So I push one into the other and hopefully like a foot in a sock, it's a nice little neat fit. So it's all come together at the top. A little bit open at the bottom, doesn't matter, does it? And you'll find the very top of your stocking, you can also open. And so you can even put things inside it. Just saying, pencil, you can see, it goes quite a long way. So it goes all the way down there. So you could put little things in there. Um, and you could start to draw on it. As you saw, I started to draw on mine and colour it, or you could have used wrapping paper. And just before you tuck one into the other, you could have put in a little string, or some people do a little hole punch and then hang it that way. So it's up to you, or you can just have it as a little decoration. You could do little tiny ones, little tiny stockings and hang them over your tree. Who knows what will appear in them? I hope you've enjoyed that and wish you a nice festive time. Thank you.